Welcome to part 6 of my Dumbbells and Resistance Bands tutorial. This video, I'm going to go over bent over rows and bent over flies. Alright, so I'm first going to go over bent over rows. I'm going to do both two arms and single arm. So first I'm going to go over two arm. And I'm going to go over just the generic, regular, simple way to do regular bent over rows. No anchor point, or your feet has an anchor point. So first, I'm going to get my band. I'm going to get a medium light band. Double loop under both feet. It's nice and secure. Grab my dumbbells. Make sure that the loops are in my hands like this. Grabbing my dumbbells more towards the top than in the middle. And from here, I'm gonna show you from this side. I'm gonna bent over. And then I'm gonna pull back from my elbows, keeping my back straight sure the dumbbells go towards my hips and that's how you do a generic regular bent over row now another way you can go about doing bent over rows you can do a single arm I mean single loop under both feet now this way there's kind of two different ways you can go about doing this one first way is you can have the dumbbells underneath the band right whatever resistance you want to have it, the dumbbell is underneath the band, grabbing both dumbbells, kind of holding the band above the, your hands with my thumb, and from here, doing the same thing, pulling back. So the dumbbells are underneath the band like this, my thumb is holding on to the band, and that's how I roll. Another way you can do it is with the dumbbells above the band, so I'm putting the dumbbells above the band, same thing though. I'm going to hold it with my pointer finger this time. A little bit more complicated and not as comfortable, but same thing. Bent over and roll this out. Now the last way you can do it is another version where you're still having a single loop under one foot. But I'm going to pull it underneath so now I have two loops and then the same way we could do it as before with the dumbbells either above the bands or below the bands right underneath the bands I'm gonna hold it with my thumbs on top All right you're getting a lot more resistance this way or the dumbbells above the bands holding with my pointer finger that now for the single arm pretty much the same type of ways you can do it I'm gonna double loop it get this out of the way double loop it under one foot both loops going in one hand only now this back foot is gonna be your support foot so you could either plant it like this or you could tippy toe it whatever is more comfortable for you I usually tippy toe it at a, at a, at a slight angle so I can have a little bit more support making sure the resistance is equal on both sides, grabbing my dumbbell, and from here, I like to place my hand right here for support, and then pulling back, elbows back. Another version, you're going to uh, put a single loop under both feet, And you could try to pull it in the middle a little bit to give you a little bit more resistance at the top. Now from here, I'm gonna place hand, my hand underneath the band like this, dumbbell on top, and then doing the same thing. And then the final version that I like to do it as before, grabbing both sides of the band. So now I have double loop in my hand, dumbbell here, boom, and now I can still reverse row with a little bit more resistance. And those are generally the versions I like to do with dumbbells and bands with the back row, both arm and single arm. And for the back fly, it's gonna be a lot different. Or a little different. I'm taking a very light band because flies are generally more challenging. So with this one, 
You could do this with one foot or two feet, but same as before, double loop under both under one foot. And this is the what I call the easier version. Right? Just gener generally like this. Bands in hand, grab the dumbbells, you're gonna bend over, and then you're gonna do the fly. Pulling from your shoulder blades. Now what I like to do is I like to crisscross them. So what I like to do is I'm gonna put one loop under the other, so now they crisscross, right under that one foot. Then place the bands in your hand, get the grab your dumbbells, bend over. And you have to fly that way. Those are the two ways I like to do two armed single, I mean two armed dumbbell fly. Now, for the single arm dumbbell fly, there's only one way that I like to do it. Similar to how I did my single arm bicep curl. I'm gonna step in the loop, so single loop under one foot, pull. Now, depending on the resistance, it's gonna depend on where you stand on it, but I'm gonna stand on both loops with the other foot. So now I have the band in this hand. I'm gonna pull it from this hand, so now I'm crossing over, so see the angle? Cross over right here, pull this to the side. Dumbbell in this hand, and now I'm going to bend over and do a single arm dumbbell fly. So the, the resistance is coming from this angle. So, those are the ways that I like to do dumbbell rolls or dumbbell flies using the resistance bands and the uh, dumbbells. As usual, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.